Hola amigos, como están? And welcome to today's episode. Today we're going to be talking about si es necesario saber español aquí en México. In other words, is it necessary for you to learn and know Spanish living out here in Mexico? I get this question asked <clears throat> very frequently. <coughs> and uh, I was just like, you know what, let me you know, make an episode to see if I can answer it. You know, best best uh, way I can answer it here. Now, from my experience, um, I speak Spanish. Uh, that's kind of like my first language. Uh, I was born in Miami. I'm Cuban. Uh, so I was speaking Spanish before I was speaking English, and that's how I know Spanish. Um, when I came out here, there was no real... There was no real uh, language barrier because I already spoke the language. Uh, I was just uh, getting to know a different dialect of uh, the Spanish that I already knew. You know, meaning Yucatecan Mexican or what have you. But um, for me, it was very easy. And um, when I, you know, when I come here, I mean, when, when I'm here in certain areas and in a lot of the touristy areas, I always notice that you know there's English-speaking people, English-speaking locals. Now, granted, you know, you're in a touristy area, so you can always expect that. So, if you come out here and you don't know any English at all, I mean, any, any, <laughs> wah, wah. if you come out here and you don't know any Spanish at all, you can still, you know, get around. I mean, for sure, especially if you stick to certain safe areas and certain areas um, that are the touristy type and, and that. Now, another option, which is something that I would do if I were you guys, is that I would uh, employ the services of your handy cell phone, all right? Because everybody has uh, a cell phone nowadays, whether it's uh, an Apple iPhone or an Android or whatever, the, you know, you want to have out there. Um, but I guess what I'm saying is that we have this uh, this ability now to use this uh, Google Translate, um, or maybe there's another translating uh, application or program out there that you could use. But regardless, um, at least with Google Translate, from what I've seen, you could just um, like for example, you'll get your phone and you'll see that and you can't read it, and then you know you use the camera and then through here. It'll translate that for you, so it'll just show up on your, on your, on your screen. So you point your, you know, you point your camera to your to to a sign, and then the, the thing will come out. I'm, I'm I don't have time to edit that in here or put it in, but you can just look for Google Translate and look for a little video on Google Translate, and just do a little um, stuff, you know, a little research on that. And within five minutes or a few seconds, you know, you'll find out how awesome that is. And uh, if you're going to come traveling out here or anywhere, I would highly suggest you use it. I mean, just think about it. Um, there's a lot of people that travel all over the world, all over the time for uh, business or, you know, so, all kinds of things in which they're just stuck there for, you know, a layover. You never know. And... Uh, you know, before the whole um, language barrier was a major, major issue. But nowadays, because of technology, now we have the ability to just uh, get our phones, get our cameras, and then just point, you know, at something and it'll translate it. You know, I'm um, sure it might not be perfect. It might be a rough translation when we're talking about like other, you know, um, other languages, you know, that are maybe lesser spoken around the world. But, you know, when it comes to like English to Spanish, you know, 99% of the time you're gonna get a fucking, you know, the exact uh, translation you're looking for. And in fact, uh, you you know, when it comes to things like Spanish, you you would be able to even, uh, in many cases, you know, put in like uh, the certain dialect of Spanish that you want to trans translate it into. So right off the bat, you know what I mean? You're not out here speaking like Spaniard Spanish or some other kind of Spanish in which you're still gonna think you're a fucking tourist even, even if you speak Spanish. So it would help to speak, you know, a little bit um, with an accent, you know, closer to something out here. Or just, you know, depending on why you're out here, you know, um, like what I do is I just, I live here. You know, I'm Cuban and I live here and that's it. And so I don't really hide my accent or who I am or anything like that. But, um, 
you know, I, I remain speaking my own Spanish, which out here actually works in my favor because there's a lot of Cuban influence out here and uh, they love the Cubans and I love the Mexicans, so it's fucking great. You can't, can't complain except, except for the when the sun is like right above your head. You know, it is what it is though. Uh, let me see, can we cross? Should we cross now? So, you know, when it comes to like the language stuff, I guess what I would say is if I was you guys and you're coming out here just for like a day trip, not a day trip, but you know, like a weekend or you're having fun or you're just coming out here to visit a little bit, it might not be that necessary to learn the whole language. You know, maybe some few phrases, a few words. You know, have Google Translate, you know, right there waiting for you. And you should be totally fine. Like I said, there's a lot of English-speaking people in here. Not just here in Mexico, but you know, a lot of, all over the world. You'd be surprised. Um, because of uh, economic reasons and other reasons, you know, the whole, um, you know, speaking English thing is more like a common thing than you might think. And a lot of people actually do speak English around the world. Um, in fact, whole countries speak English. You know, you can go to India, and a good majority of that country is going to speak English, and so on and so forth. And that's billions of people. So, you know, there's tons of places out there in Asia, and you know, again, all over Mexico and Latin America that speak English. But again, if you are in the other in the other uh, camp, the camp of uh, you know wanting to live out here wanting to do business out here wanting to you know um travel through here a lot then yes you for sure i would highly highly recommend for you to speak spanish look you could rent this local place right here you could be selling whatever the hell i'm telling you there's business opportunities opening up all over the place here not just here but in other parts of this city so again if you want to do things like that I would implore you to speak Spanish. Now, it's not necessary, not necessary at all for you to be uh, speaking Spanish to do anything, but it's a humongous advantage. And for many reasons. And uh, it's not just a reason of like, you know, they're not gonna take advantage of you like a tourist or anything like that. It's not that. But again, if you plan on living out here, making a life out here, and doing all that stuff out here, then I would highly suggest that you learn some Spanish. Now, let's uh, let's talk about a little bit about how you can learn some Spanish. Now, for me personally, again, I, I that was my first language, so I really didn't have a problem there. But I do hear amazing things about uh, Rosetta Stone. Rosetta Stone. Uh, this is not a paid advertisement or anything like that. Um, but but you know, yes, you know, Rosetta Stone is an amazing tool that you could use that anyone could use out there in order to um, learn Spanish it's like what the CIA the FBI all the government officials you know all that shit what all those people use um, in order to learn in, I mean to learn uh, another language and it's not just Spanish it's like every language so I would highly suggest you know you look into Rosetta Stone um, and then, you know, there's a lot of uh, a lot of you guys out there in the comments and other videos who have left your favorite Spanish speaking tool, your favorite Spanish, you know, speaking uh, um, app, whatever. So if you guys would be as, as kind as to please leave uh, your favorites down there in the... <laughs> um, I was letting them pass by being nice you know anyways what was I saying so in order um, yeah yeah so please in order to, to help the whole community and help us all help the group um, any any Spanish speaking apps any Spanish speaking uh, programs any anything out there free not free whatever whatever you guys got please leave them out there in the comments anything that's worked for you guys out there um, so that everybody can and again not just Spanish any language you guys want to share but obviously we're speaking Spanish and we're in Mexico here so um, we're gonna go with that so I'm, I'm trying to do a little bit of my part like by giving you guys uh, word of the day so today's 
palabra del día is going to be exactly that. Word of the day. That's how you say word of the day. Palabra de el día. Palabra del día. By the way, I'm sweating freaking balls out here because it's like extra hot and humid, okay? Just FYI. And people are taking pictures of me because I'm cool like that right now. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, no, they weren't taking pictures of me. It was just some chick putting on mascara. I'm so full of myself. Jeez. Anyway, so... <laughs> Back to me, <laughs> no. back to back to what we were talking about, the Spanish. Um, you know, again, in all honesty, it will, I would implore you guys to learn some Spanish, like for reals, because in order, when you guys learn the language of wherever the hell you're at, um, you can really, really absorb the culture and absorb the people and absorb uh, everything about where you're at, uh, like a thousand times more, if you understand. And um, I understand that for the most part it might be a little difficult for for most people you know to grasp the language because again if I'm, I'm traveling you know to Russia or the Philippines or what have you I'll try to learn a little bit of the language but you know I don't know I don't know how much I could grasp per se and so I, I get that you know sometimes maybe for you guys it might be a little easier with some other languages I don't know but the point is that regardless you need to learn certain words you need to learn certain uh, phrases. You need to learn. You need to, okay? You, again, this is now going to, again, if you, remember what I was saying before. If you're out here just to vacation, just to chill, just to hang out, just to whatever, you don't, most likely don't need to learn anything. Now, if you're out here because you want to be an expat, you want to live out here, you want to travel through here, you want to do business here, you want to do everything else, then yeah, I, I would highly suggest to learn Spanish for a million reasons. I like, I mean, seriously, you know, so you don't get taken advantage of so that you can also take full advantage of the situation out here meaning you know you can really enjoy museums enjoy you know like if you're looking for dates and stuff like that it would it would be highly encourageable for you to learn the language especially if there's a big language barrier um and stuff like that and it's just so many things you know what i mean it's like a million things that um it will give you a high advantage and uh, and if you grasp the language well then you have an even higher advantage because like for example you know i'm out here and I speak Spanish, you know, uh, perfectly. And um, and now, now, and you know, not only that, but I speak English. And so now, you know, my English out here, and my English know-how, my American know-how, you know, everything that you know makes me who I am is at a very high, uh, very high commodity out here. It's very highly priced, very highly sought after, and so on and so forth. So, you know, I mean, for sure, you know what I mean? Like, honestly. There's a lot of advantages to having two languages and being able to master both. But, I mean, I, I, like I said, I can make this episode talking about... Well, I mean, we are talking about, like, uh, speaking Spanish and learning Spanish out here and that whole deal. But, you know, the reality is that... Um, I can't force you guys or tell you guys what to do here. You guys have to, like, you know, pick up the ball, you know, off of your court and uh, figure this out. If you really, really really want to you know do this kind of adventure then you would find a way in order to to learn how to speak uh the language and speak spanish it's not a difficult language it really isn't you know um it only starts getting difficult when you're starting to get into the intricacies and doing all this other stuff but just like anything else just like english just like any other language but the and in, 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 in the basics of what the language is is actually pretty easy to grasp and if you make an effort i know anyone out there can do it it just takes practice, practice, and if you got a problem, you know, with that, you can just watch one of my motivational videos, and hopefully that'll help you um, learn how to speak Spanish, or uh, at least uh, kick you in the ass to start working on that, because it's a very important, uh, to me, like I said, you know, I, I, don't, I don't like telling people what to do, so that's why, like, I'm always, like, my answer's a little vague in the sense of, like, eh, you don't have to learn, you don't have to learn, but... You know, again, if I if I was you, yes, you know what I mean. My answer would be yes, learn. All right, um, and you know what? I'm talking to you guys like if you guys are my friends, like if you guys are my family. I'm gonna give you guys the advice that I would give them, and that would be to learn Spanish, learn Spanish. All right, learn Spanish, just learn it. Um, and like I said, if you if you plan on doing any kind of uh, business out here, you you plan on being out here for any um, amount of time. And especially if you're going to live out here, learn the language. Learn the language because you're, it's going to it's going to make just just make everything so much ten times better. You know, because even though everything is awesome out here, 
it's not the same if you're hanging out with the same old you know expats if you're just hanging out with your english speaking friends and all that shit and you're not really you know taking in the culture taking in you know everything there is to know and 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 experience about mexico i mean for real there's just so much and it's not just mexico any spanish-speaking country wherever you're at so again guys I, I highly implore you to learn the language you know this episode is basically to to tell you yes you know it's just like a 16 minute rant 16 minute rant on how to I'm, I'm telling you yes learn the freaking language for a million reasons and that's it because uh it's only it's only going to be to your benefit okay and if you're living out here um or you're doing business or you're out here all the time you're going to be practicing it practicing it all the time with the proper people so it's not going to be that difficult it's, it's the, the the most difficult part is the first step and that's really it so as long as you get over that hurdle you're good to go so so just knock it out just do it okay um that's part of your checklist if you're going to be coming out here to start learning spanish and that's it all right so guys thank you so much for watching i really appreciate you guys you guys are the best don't forget to please like please subscribe please share thank you to all my patrons thank you to everyone as always on twitch thank you to everyone that was joining me on my live stream yesterday thank you to, to everyone out there that voted in the the big community vote thing thank you thank you thank you thank you to all you guys out there if you want to see more of this content and you want to help support the show please there's links at the bottom there's all kinds of stuff and uh guys I love you guys to death. I really do. And I look I look forward to keep making more and more of these videos for you on a daily basis because I love it. You love it. We all love it. So like McDonald's, we're loving it. All right, guys. Peace out. Thanks again for watching. And I'll see you guys mañana. Same bat time. Same bat channel. Later. Coca-Cola. No Coca-Cola for me. Coca-Cola. No Coca-Cola for me. Coca-Cola. No Coca-Cola for me.